This B-Boy News is brought to you by Jeru the Damager's live performance for Undisputed. Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Yes, Undisputed is over and it was... well, it was alright really, wasn't it? Um, not quite sure what was missing, but the event was just... Uh, it was okay. A few things we noticed with massive spoilers, so if you haven't seen it yet, please turn off right now. The DJ was dope, but made some errors, like not dropping the next song quickly enough and not looping the break, often leading to the b-boy coming out and then waiting around awkwardly clapping their hands for waiting for the song to drop. Check out Bruce Almighty vs Issei for an example of this. Usually I would question the DJ, but this is Lean Rock, one of the best DJs in the world, and a b-boy battle vet, so my guess is there must have been technical issues behind the scenes. However, Lean Rock's choice of music was unquestionable as he really chose classics, which is what these events always need. It's good to try new things, but keep with the classics too, as well as some tracks that had me reaching for the Soundhound. For an event that was supposed to showcase the Kozen system, it just reminded me of how terrible the Kozen system actually is. Yeah, I said it. Too many battles just end up with one b-boy getting fed up and losing all motivation. Once one b-boy was 2-0 up, the battle was over. Let us know in the comments if you were feeling Kozen here, but we definitely weren't. We got really lucky in Japan for Red Bull BC1 as the event had the perfect mixture of hip-hop heads, b-boying regulars and just normal folks there. Unfortunately this event seems to have not such a good blend and a lot of the battles saw the crowd not reacting or just reacting in the most bizarre places. It definitely seemed to throw off some b-boys like Kid Columbia who really thrive off crowd reaction. The semi-finals were unbelievably boring. Before we start booing and turning off, please don't do that, please don't do that. I don't mean the b-boys in them. Issei and Bruce Almighty and Clay vs Thesis are things a legend, they're dream matchups. But the combination of a so-so crowd and the Kozen system just seemed to suck the life out of the semis. Clay's frustration at his battle was clear and Bruce Almighty just didn't seem to be himself without a crowd to work off and freestyle from. Unsurprising, the finals where they didn't use Kozen was a much better battle and the crowd almost got hype at one point. Almost. Issei's second place curse from early in the year returns, as Thesis is the undisputed winner and congratulations to him. He was dope the whole way through. Honestly though, we scored the final 2-1 to Issei, giving rounds 1 and 3 to Japan. However, the third is so debatable that it could go either way. As always, let us know how you scored the final in the comments. At least Issei will be pleased to know that he got another win over longtime rival Victor and a 3-0 win at that. Once again, the points mean, well, basically nothing, as the two b-boys with the lowest point scores, Clayju and Thesis, got to the semi-final and final respectively, with Thesis winning the event. However, the points did correctly predict that Issei would get all the way to the final, as he had an excellent run. Finally, on another subject, b-boying at the Youth Olympics took a step towards being a bit more legitimate with this tweet from the Youth Olympics, showing some familiar faces. This is possibly the first bit of really good news that's been reported on for the Youth Olympics. Hopefully this is a sign that Youth Olympics are going to try and get it right. We want proper b-boys, proper judges, proper DJs, all that good stuff. Make it happen, Youth Olympics. As always, please let us know in the comments, was there anything you disagreed with? Was there anything you agreed with? How did you feel the event was overall? I know we gave quite a negative review, but obviously there were some amazing moments and some stuff that will be talked about. Peace.